Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to use version histories in Google Sheets. My name is Tyler Osborne. So using version histories is a really useful way um, for teachers to see how students go about creating their documents so you can learn a little bit about their learning process. It's also useful for catching students that are cheating by copying and pasting from other places. As well as in group projects, you can actually see the individual con contributions of um, students so you can evaluate whether or not they were working in a fair way. So to find version histories, what you need to do is first have students create their assignments. So this is in Google Sheets, so they've already created the assignment and they go to file. And then as a teacher, you go file, version, history, and then see version history. And when you click on that, it gives you the version history on the, on the side here. Now, we can actually click through the individual dates here to see the changes that were made. So on August 20th, if I click on it, it'll actually give me the blank document. And then you can see that I've uh, um, started adding things in. And then in September, I made a whole lot of changes. And we can actually go through these changes one at a time. So you can see that it's highlighted in green. And that Tyler Osborne is the one that did the green right here. If you had multiple students, you'd have actually multiple colors. And you'd be able to see what each individual student typed into these things. So you can see how I went about creating this assignment one piece at a time. Now to restore a particular version, let's say this was the version of the assignment that I wanted to restore. See there's the restore button right there. I could click this and it would become the live version of the document. Now I wouldn't lose any of the other changes that I've made since um, working on this document. So I wouldn't lose this version. It would just get pushed down a little bit in the version history. So um, this is a great way to bring student work back. Let's say they got frustrated and they deleted everything. It's not actually gone. You can go back in version history and pull forward the most recent version. Uh, so they didn't actually lose their work. Um, it's also great for seeing the individual contributions of students. And uh, then if suddenly a whole bunch of information just appeared all at once, you'd actually be able to question the student whether or not they copied that somewhere, um, from somewhere. So like if a, a student suddenly all um, went from one paragraph to eight paragraphs, you'd be like, okay, well, you copied this. Or uh, one data set to 15 data sets, okay, you copied this. And uh, you'd be able to show, show it to them um, through the keystrokes. Now, the last feature that I want to show you here is the more actions. And if you go to name this version, you can actually name the individual versions of this assignment. Um, so if you created a data set for students and you wanted them to be able to manipulate it, but you didn't want to lose that original data set, so you could reset the assignment for the next group of students, you might name the version and call it uh, Black Line Master or something like that. And then after the students have played with it and mucked up your data, you could um, press the restore button and, and easily find it because you named the version. And so it's reset for the next group of students. So to get out, all you have to do is press this arrow, and then you're back to the regular spreadsheet. So again, to find that, you go to File, Version History, See Version History. That's all you need to know about using version history in Google Sheets. Um, if you like this video, please consider leaving some feedback on the website using the Google form. Thanks for watching.